from school. For them to clear their schedules completely is something they do not do lightly. Upon hearing the news, networks scrambled. Jenna Bush Hager, who was already in Scotland to interview Camilla, had to switch gears. Right before we were supposed to meet, her team came and let us know that Her Royal Highness Camilla and Prince Charles had flown off to Balmoral, which is about uh, at four hours north of where we are. Charles, who was named King Charles III, released this statement, calling the Queen's death, quote, a moment of the greatest sadness for me and all members of my family. The brand new Prime Minister, Liz Truss, went live. A huge shock to the nation and to the world. This is the last photo of the 96-year-old meeting Truss on Tuesday. She was smiling and alert, but using a cane. You can see some bruising on her hands. She hadn't been seen in public for 47 days. Around 6 a.m. Pacific time, BBC programming completely switched to report on the Queen. Journalists changed into all-black clothing, which is part of a series of protocols in the event of Her Majesty's passing. Had the Queen passed away in England, Operation London Bridge would have been activated. However, since the Queen was at Balmoral, it was Operation Unicorn, the unicorn being the official national animal of Scotland. Parliament is immediately to be suspended to prepare for the Queen's state. Funeral. The body of the monarch will be transported to Edinburgh to lie in state at the palace at Holyrood House. Her Majesty's coffin will then be carried to St. Giles's Cathedral so the public can pay their respects. The monarch will then be transported to London where she will lie in state at Westminster Abbey before making her final journey to Windsor where she will be interred with her late husband, Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh. Your Majesty, Mummy. As the world mourns, many today are asking about the line of succession and a change in royal titles. It is more likely than not that Prince William, the Duke of Cambridge, will become the Prince of Wales and Catherine, in turn, the Princess of Wales. We haven't had a Princess of Wales since Diana, and she more than anyone will know that they are sizable shoes to fill. We will be expecting to hear from the new king who will address the nation tomorrow. I still view her more as the Queen than my grandmother. You, you have this huge amount of respect for, for your boss, and um, I always view her as my boss. For a time, the Queen seemed unstoppable. A positive COVID test in late February sparked a week of worldwide concern. But Her Majesty returned to royal duties, looking healthy during virtual appearances. At this reception at Sandringham Estate, the Queen, in good spirits, stunned guests who were expecting to watch her cut the cake. Somebody else can finish it off. It was a bright, fun moment after a difficult year. Royal life slowed down for the Queen after she lost her beloved husband, Prince Philip, in April of 2021. The two had been married for 73 years. For me, in the months since the death of my beloved Philip, I have drawn great comfort from the warmth and affection of the many tributes to his life and work. By many as serious and old-fashioned, she was actually quite playful. Thank you, Mr. Prime Minister. <coughs> Doesn't me feel so old. <coughs> Good evening, Good evening. Good evening. <coughs> Elizabeth was known for her love of her corgis. Almost all of her outfits were custom made just for her. In the 50s, she favored dresses cinched at the waist. In later years, she went for coats and hats, always in bright colors, so she could stand out in a crowd. She had a long connection with Hollywood, giving some of the biggest stars titles, from Dame Elizabeth Taylor to Sir Paul McCartney and Sir Elton John. She made Angelina Jolie an honorary dame of the British Empire for her work on behalf of refugees. And we love that she didn't seem phased at all when she met Lady Gaga, who happened to be wearing a red rubber dress. I was knighted by the Queen, and she was lovely. It's a sad day, but I feel good about Charles and welcoming him to the throne. The Queen will always be remembered as a woman who made and lived through history. Even in the unlikeliest of places, hope can still be found. I was glued to the television all day.